right, liberals, it's official. You've gotten too woke. Some of you may be confused as to what I'm talking about. Don't worry, I brought pictures. You are reading that correctly. Apparently, Avatar 2 has been called out for cultural appropriation. I always fucking said they should have hired more blue people. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? They're saying that it's a white savior complex. You do realize one of the lead actresses in that movie is Zoe Saldana. Don't know if you know this, but Zoe Saldana's fucking black. On a side note, she's a very good actress. As always, I've got a fucking message for you. Stop it! Too far. Way too far. God damn, can we get one movie without cultural appropriation, police? Honestly, I'm going to say, I never liked the fucking Avatar series to begin with. That's why Avatar lost to the Hurt Locker that year. I mean, Avatar to me was a $237 million retelling of Pocahontas set in Fern Gully. It was a pretty dumb fucking movie. Like, everybody in that movie was disinterested as fuck to be in it. I never thought they should make a sequel anyway. But if you were going to do it, do it around the release time. You know, ride that wave, James. You had one of the biggest box office openings ever. And you chose to release a sequel in not a short enough time for everybody to give a shit, but not a long enough time to be nostalgic. It's a very poor business model. I was kind of hoping that movie flopped. But no, from what I hear, it's actually doing pretty good. I'm still not going to go see it because the first one sucked. I will be fucking roped into seeing it one of these days, though. Like, am I alone in the fact that I think that woke culture has hit a critical fucking mass? But on the other hand, they're trying to shoehorn fucking inclusion into other movies. There's a bisexual Superman. Why? He's been in love with Lois Lane since the fucking 30s. What, are they going to have him in a three-way with fucking Batman? Fucking Black Hamilton. I got an idea. Let's start attacking this shit from the other side. You know, to really make it fucking weird. I want to see an all-white recasting of the color purple. Or hell, you really want to piss off liberals, release Blazing Saddles 2. It has gotten to a point where nothing makes sense anymore. You can't make a movie, release an album, or tell a joke without having somebody shaking a fucking finger at you. When you politically correct everybody into a fucking corner, you know what you get? Somebody like me. I have actually gotten worse over the years because of this shit. I was never what you would call politically correct, but now I'm just saying it to piss people off. And that's why people like our podcast. By the way, if you're not following the podcast, you fucking should be. Just YouTube my fucking name or type in STFU podcast episode one. You can see how offensive I can really get. But yeah, this shit ain't going away and it fucking pisses me off. So in conclusion, take your woke culture to the nearest proctologist and insert it rectally.